welcome to Meals with Amelia on episode four. Today we are making sirloin steak with sauce Robert. Say Queen of Hearts, say it's a big one. I'm also going to buy my Queen of Hearts, and I'm just going to say bye. Okay, so what you're going to need is you're going to need light whipping cream. Wine, white cooking wine. And white cooking wine, it doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it is really still gross for me. I actually drank a little thinking it was water and it was really gross. So don't do that. Um, and we're gonna make, uh, you're gonna need some butter and I forgot to mention on the side, we're going to make uh, scallops, potatoes, and spinach. Um, so you're gonna need Potatoes, scallops, spinach. That's basically it. Then you have the Grand Morgan cheese. We're also going to need G Dijon mustard. Um, we're going to use gray poupon, and that sounds really funny to me. Don't, just don't ask why. I think we all know. Gray poupon, gray poupon, gray poupon. And you're going to need olive oil. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our steaks and we're going to... Um, Pat them dry like this. Just don't just don't even bother taking them off the plate. Just kind of pat, 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 pat. You know what? It's not that gross until you think about it. Because when you think about it, what you're doing is you're stuff is you're uh, drying blood off of dead animal, and it's just like sad. So once you've patted them dry, you're going to take some salt. Doop. Do 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 pepper. Do 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 do. Ta da! Now we're gonna cut our potatoes and shallots. Um, the shallots they're kind of like an onion, kind of like garlic, not either. Uh, they're really delicious though. But when I say delicious, I don't mean non cooked. So don't eat them non cooked. Don't go thinking that they're delicious. I have experience. So you're gonna cut the potatoes. You're gonna cut them into thin slices like so. So now it's time for the shallots. So the way, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna peel it. So you're gonna cut the top off. You're gonna cut the bottom off. You're gonna cut a little bit through the middle like that. Then you just have, you have the perfect amount of space to just peel around. The shallot. Do 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 do. Can I pass the massage? Oh, please say it's a little black eagle. Okay. So now you have the shallots. Now we're gonna talk about cutting the shallots. What you're gonna do is you you can either do it two ways. You can take a slap chop these things I used them in my last video, or you can just cut it with a knife. So if you're gonna cut it with the slap chop, you're gonna cut it. A little slit right like in half. You're gonna cut it in half and you're gonna do one half and then the other half. Boom. Then the next half. So now we're gonna cook the scalloped potatoes. What you wanna do is you wanna turn the burner on. If you're a younger kid, you might want some help with this. If you're an older kid like me, Get some supervision again i say that all the time so now that the burner is on you want about to medium heat seven that's good first once the burner is on you want to put the olive oil in you want to do about a lid i think i've said that before oh gosh lid 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 now we're going to add the potatoes do, do, do. So now we're just going to stir the potatoes like so till they start to brown. And I'm going to be a bit a tiny bit of salt, not too much. To be honest, I kind of always feel like I need to eat raw potatoes. Because they always look so good once you drop them open. And I don't know why. But do you ever feel the need to eat raw potatoes? Because I do a lot. Just stir the potatoes, don't let them stick at all, just gotta kinda move, 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 move. Yo, like a ninja! 
Well, not too much like a ninja, because, you know, ninjas make stuff go flying. And you don't want your potatoes with burning olive oil on them to fly out of the pan. So, we have more pepper. Mm. Brown the potatoes for about two to three minutes. And so now we're going to add some shallots and some spinach. What you're going to do is you're going to take some shallots, put them in there. That's about half the shallots. And so now it's time to add spinach. Now for the spinach, you want to take like thirds of it, a couple handfuls at a time. And so you want to cook it down, do 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 do, until it wilts. <coughs> And we're going to watch it wilt. Now that we've added spinach, it has wilted thoroughly. It's amazing how it does that. We're going to add more spinach. Spinach, spinach. Do yap, up, 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 dee dap, dap, do dap, dap, dee. So now that that's wilted, they wilt pretty quickly, by the way. You're just going to dump the spinach. So we're stirring it around, stirring it around, spinach, spinach, scallop, 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 spinach, potatoes, and shallop, 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 yeah. Completely wilted, so now we're going to add a half cup of water to some parmesan, and the light whipping cream. So now you're going to reduce the heat level to about three to five and stir it around until the potatoes are nice and tender. Now we're going to check if our potatoes are tender. You're going to take a knife, you're going to poke into the potato. If it's nice and soft, easy to poke through, then that's pretty tender. My mom's going to put the potatoes into a casserole dish. Please make sure to have a grown up to help you with this. And, as the and you want to make sure to spray the casserole dish so it's not like, so they're not going to stick. And you want to preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So now we're going to put the, the potatoes in the oven. You want to cover it with tin foil. And you want to cover it with tin foil. And then you're going to put the potatoes into the oven. So we're going to put it in for 10 minutes, then we're going to take it out, take the foil off, put it in for another 10 minutes, 20 minutes in total. Now we're going to cook the steaks. First you want to put the olive oil into the pan. You want about four lids, four tablespoons. That was like two. That was another two. I'm making it even messier, aren't I? So now we're just going to wait for it to get really, really hot before we put it on the steaks. Uh, in the steaks, so you want to turn it to high heat. So high heat, and we're gonna wait till it gets really hot, then we can put the steaks in. So, the, the olive oil is sizzling, that means it's like ready, and I don't wanna, don't even try putting your hands over it, cause it's gonna probably pop on it, it's gonna hurt. So now we're gonna put the steaks in, you wanna do about, uh, whoa, um, five to seven minutes on each side, and, and so if you do five minutes on one side, then you flip it to the other side, and you want to do that till they're perfectly brown. Now we're going to flip the steak. It is cooked for about five minutes, and that's really nice and tender. Nice and tender. So we're going to flip all the steaks. You want it to be just that brown. So now we're going to let that cook for another five minutes. So it's been ten minutes, we're going to take the foil off of our potatoes. And I'm not really going to, I'm not going to take it out. I'm just going to oop, grab that. And back in. Right, so now our other five minutes are up. We're gonna take the steak off. That's some good steak right there. And we're gonna put it on a plate. You know what? I don't know why, but you can make anything better by putting it on a plate. You can make like poison ivy better by putting it on a plate. So now you're gonna turn this off. And remember, keep this on because we're gonna use it for the sauce. Robert. Okay, so now we're going to start making the sauce. So we're going to take the leftover shallots and you want to put them in the pan. You don't want to clean the pan from the steaks, the stuff in there. Okay, so now you're going to stir the shallots around for about two to three minutes. And then once you've done that, 
you're going to add the Dijon mustard gray poupon. I love to say that. Gray poupon. Now it's time to add the gray poupon. Do, 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 do. Now you're going to add your wine, rice cooking wine. You're going to dump it in. That starts sizzling quickly. And then you're just going to stir it around. And once it's all good, once, once it's nice and cooked, then you want to add the butter. You have over here. Dump. This is now. This is the sauce Robert, and we're gonna put it on our sake. Yum, 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 manger. Je veux manger maintenant. Et pourquoi on doit entendre? Yeah. Now that that's nice and brown and mixed, we are ready to start plating our dish. Now it's time to plate the dish. Jeff hands. So you're going to take the most delicious steak ever. Yummy, okay, yummy. And then you're going to take the sauce Robert. You're going to kind of put it on like that, like so, and then you're going to put the, your potatoes around the side, kind of like spread out. Well, not really spread out, but like kind of in a circular form around it. You give a salad or a red egg, put it on there, and so the greatest dish ever, just had. Thank you for watching. If you liked it and you want to try it, the, the description and the, re the recipe is down in the description and comments. Um, you, it's also in my blog. My blog is www.mealswithamelia. So please watch another video. Thank you. Bye.